Many thanks for staying tuned. And the program is still Good Morning Abuja, showing only on the Unity Station NTA Channel 5 Abuja. And I have another guest seated here with me. And this time around, we want to talk about parental appreciation. Uh, what is it to appreciate? You know, when we appreciate one another, it will make us to do more for one another. Let me leave the rest for my guest to talk about. And I have a counselor who is Dr. Larry Oke with us in the studio this morning. Doctor, you're welcome to the program. Good morning. Okay. Thank you so much. And good to see you again. Thank you. All right. So, this yeah. time around, we are talking about parental appreciation. But I want you to take us through the lines of what appreciation is all about. Yeah, you know, when we talk about parental appreciation, you are talking about recognition of uh, and recognition and showing gratitude to okay. uh, the commitment and sacrifice of parents okay. in the life of their children. Okay. And so when you can recognize and you appreciate okay. their sacrifice. So, so, so in a general term now where you recognize something good in someone yeah. and appreciate it's good. Yes. Now that we are narrowing down to parental appreciation this yeah. morning, I want you to talk to us about the most valuable lessons that one can learn from their parents. The, the lessons one can learn from a parent is basically number one, the sacrifice. Okay. The sacrifice of parents. Of course, you can see parents who are not committed to be sacrificial to their children. Oh. Uh, some children may choose to just live their life, enjoy their lives, and then leave the parents, the children rather, to just fend for themselves. That is not worth emulating. Uh, parenting is something that starts with God. That is why, uh, if we are, if we live well as parents in our relationship with God, it will be easy to model parenting for our children. Then it will be easy for the children to know what God, who God is, rather, and how to relate with God. So God has shown the commitment to us by giving a sacrifice. So one of the core values of parenting is sacrifice. You sacrifice your time to be with the children, sacrifice your time to uh, follow up with them, to see that they get the best out of their life, what they are designed to be like they eventually become. Yeah, that sacrifice, I think, is a key lesson to learn for parents. Wow. Thank you very much for that great response. And I want to agree with you because we often say that once we get it right from the family level, the society will be better for it. And uh, parents are often seen as role models to their children because it is the children that are going to become the youth and our nation tomorrow. Now, I want you to talk to us more on how can parents influence uh, their children's belief? Mm. Yeah, you know, belief is everything actually. You okay. become what you believe. All right. Yeah, what you don't believe, you can't become. Okay. One of the ways, you, that is one of the greatest uh, gap in a man's life. Uh, once a man grows to believe wrong, everything about him lives wrong. The direction of his life goes wrong. Everything about him. So that's why parents must, that is why I mentioned earlier, the sacrifice. The sacrifice is time, basically. Parents in the, uh, in the effort of making provision for the children, clothing, school fees, feeding, house rent, they be occupied using their time for so many things. But they must also find time for the children because they must influence the belief system. Either they like it or not. If they don't put the value system in the children, the children will learn it from somewhere else. So they must find time to sit with them, to talk to them about what life is all about. In fact, share with them the errors they made in their own journey that they don't want them to make in their own. I say, look, my journey will have been better than this, but this is the mistakes I made. Don't make this kind of mistake and share the truth with them. So the fact that you are going through something does not make it the truth. Yes. You know, you could just say, you know, life is hard, things are difficult, things don't... No, 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 no. That may be a situation. That's not the truth. So you must be able to explain the truth to them and make that truth become the belief system in them. You know, parenting is a skill on its own. Not everybody who has children can parent. Yeah, you understand? So it's something that even people should be taught how to do parenting. Yeah. yeah, because if they don't know it, they just assume that this is what to do. And rather than build a society, they can be destroyed it. Putting the wrong values in the mind of wrong, the children. But talking yeah. about uh, influencing children's um, belief system, yes. uh, we know there are some qualities, like we said, that parents are role models to yeah. children. Yeah. Uh, the particular qualities that parents should be intentional about passing on to their children. Yeah. We want you to highlight more. Yeah, yeah the, when, when you talk about the qualities, basically the truths. Yeah, for me, the word of God is the truth. There's a difference between the true. Something is true and something is the truth. Okay. Something can be true and not be the truth. Okay. Yeah. So the truth is the word. A fact can be the truth. Okay. But it's not the truth. 
there's a difference between the facts and the truth. Then in honesty and sincerity, you, what you don't have, you can give. You a, can't parent, give. a parent who has no value system cannot pass a value system. So a parent can just say, you see, the problem of this nation is our leaders, our politicians. That's a wrong value system. So the child now just believes that things can't work because of our leaders. Things can't do this one because, because that's the value system pass over. Pass on. Yeah. But, so, but if the parents has the right value system themselves, I believe things can work. I can contribute to the change. I can be change my world is looking for. And they pass that button to the children. The children grows up to be, I be change my society needs. I must wait for the traffic light to pass me before I go. And they just see those value system of honesty, of truth, then it will be a great thing. So for the, the, the truth, being honest, and living faithful is a key value system. Wow. Yeah. Living faithful, truth yeah. and honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, time, our time with our, our children yes. is very, very key and valuable. Now, as we discuss about this uh, parental appreciation, mm -hmm. I want you to highlight uh, some of the key principles that um, we need to know about parents appre appreciating, uh, children appreciating, appreciating their parents. All right. When you talk about children, number one, there is a uh, a verbal affirmation. Okay. okay. Oh, thank you, daddy. Thank you, mommy. It is one way of appreciation. Then there's another way of quality time. One of my friends was speaking to me that each time he travels, that the father always looks for him, even if he's not around. And I asked why. He said because he spent quality time, time. with him. At all age, parents value such things. His uh, colleagues, his siblings, would just buy items to the house and say, oh, daddy, we bought rice, we bought this one. He will buy those things and still spend time. Those friends, those siblings of his, when they bite this, they just go out, they come to greet the prayer, then go out, go and check their parents and friends. But he stays with the father from morning till afternoon. Wow. And just listen to him, and just touch him, and just hear him. That's one way of saying thank you to them. Then if you, of course, fulfill, and you make them proud, you are successful. It makes sense. If you, because if you begin to live with what they are, you're doing something contrary, you are not appreciating their labor. But if you grow to be a success, that's another way of appreciating them. Then if you serve them and give to them, you help them do one or two things, then you start to give things to them, make a public recommendation of them. Wow. It is when we are appreciating parents. Wow, this is wonderful. You know, yeah. there are some uh, children, once they leave the shores or the presence of their parents, yeah. uh, what they do behind is what we, and like uh, on, on, and unimaginable things they okay. do. Uh, they do some things because of the presence of their parents. Okay. Such children, where exactly can we categorize such children? You are obedient because your parents yeah, are there. Yeah. You are you, you are you are so calm. But when your parents are not there, when your parents school. are not there, yeah, you I are think it's a parenting else. gap. The, the, the parenting gap. That's why I say parenting is a skill. It's not something you just uh, say you are giving birth and uh, you need to provide for the clothes, for the shelter. And you, no, 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 it goes beyond that. You people need to learn parenting as a skill okay. or as a life, something a responsibility. Okay. So by the time, you know, in, in parenting, you need to know how to parent a child from age zero to three and know what to do within three years. Since by the time a child is coming to 11, the foundation of that belief system of a child is formed. So if you got it wrong from zero to 11, you are likely not to find it easy to build on it. So there are times that you don't shout on a child because you can create fear in that child, even among his peers. So you need to know those parenting skills. So when you see a child who is afraid of the parent, he's just doing it because the parent is more like a terror. Not somebody loving. Okay. Now, of course, there's a place of rebuke and correction yes. that should also be done in love. Okay. But when the child is not seeing a father's hand, who can a child find it comfortable and convenient to talk to someone else than talk to the parent? Then there's a gap. Then when the parent is not there, then she says, "Okay, I can live the life they don't want me to live." Okay. So it is a gap in parenting. Okay. So, when you were responding uh, initially about this parental appreciation, we talk about spending quality time uh, with them, especially at their uh, good age. Good age. Yes. You know, some parents because pr some children probably because they don't really have enough to give back to their parents because of uh, what they have gone through for them. Mm -hmm. They try to withdraw mm -hmm. and want to have it big before they come, okay. and the, the, the time. Mm -hmm. uh, will just be there. So how can we fill up the time? So basically it's lack of understanding when they uh, because at times the quality time spent with the parent may be more than the gift the child will give to the parent. Okay. So when the child uh, find time. There are times that some people come to seek me for counsel, for prayers, and I tell them go back to your prayer. Let your prayer bless you. Wow. Yeah. 
uh, because there are times that it is the, the they are like a, a mini god. Mm. There are times that what you need is a declaration, yes. is a word. When the Bible speaks, it says, "Honor your parents; you can live long." It means it connotes that there is a blessing to honor, not to anybody, your parents. So there are times you just spend that quality time. They are please, their spirit releases the blessings even over your life. Wow. So what you are looking for, even come with ease. Thank you so much, sir, for your wonderful uh, advice and your thoughts, your message you give to us this morning on parental appreciation. You know, we, if I, for one, I have learned a lot. We do really appreciate your time with us this morning. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, we have been talking about parental appreciation and our resource person has talked to us a lot. You don't need to wait until you have enough before you go and appreciate your parents. Even the quality time you spend with them is enough for them to release more blessings on you and it's going to be good for you in life. And we've been talking with Dr. Larry Oke, who is a counselor and he has done justice to this topic before us this morning. Let's now go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll have more for you on the program. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us, please.